friend, it's Laura. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've got my very first April Wild hair kit video for you. I got a petite kit this month and it included all of these gorgeous new papers from the Flower Market line, which is from Cartabella. I loved this embroidered hoop pattern paper. It has all these cute little embroidered hoops on it with different patterns inside of them. And I'm really inspired by that circle theme and then also the Citrus Twist Kit Traveler's Notebook page I made earlier this month with embroidered circles on it. So I am gonna keep going with the circle theme here and I cut out some of these embroidered hoops and then I also use my circle die cuts to cut out the center of some of them as well as cutting out some different pattern papers into circles. Now to run this through my manual die cutting machine, I place the dies on top of my patterned papers and then I use washi tape to secure the dies to my paper. Now you don't have to do this, but if you're using a particular pattern paper and you wanna make sure that your die cut cuts out a very specific part of the pattern, using the washi tape to secure the dies to the paper will help a ton. And it's annoying to add an extra step to the process, but when you're putting these papers and your die cuts in between these two different plates and then rolling it through your machine, all of that rotating and sliding can mess up the alignment where you had put your die cuts on your paper originally. And using the washi tape just secures it so that way it doesn't move at all and you are 100% certain you are going to get the part of the paper cut out that you had intended to cut out because the paper and the die cuts will not shift at all. So I really like that tip. It took me a while to learn it, but it really does help a lot and it ends up saving time in the long run. Once I have all of these different papers cut out and I cut out lots of different patterns, as you can see, I'm using my awl to poke circles around some of them. And then I'm going to hand stitch using white thread. And this is just regular thread, it's not embroidery thread, but I'm hand stitching all the way around. And I think this is called a running back stitch or a back stitch, something like that. It's pretty much the easiest stitch that you can do to get a stitch all the way around. And if you use your awl, the process goes really easy because the holes are already poked for you. So I am going to hand stitch around half of the circles. And then for the other half of them, I'm going to do a hand drawn border, which you can see me doing here. And I severely overestimated my ability to draw a circle on a circle. I thought it would be easy because I had the outline of the circle already because that's the shape the paper was cut into and I figured it would be easy to draw circles around the edges it was not it was very messy and I had to do it like 10 different times and I ended up with these really thick black hand-drawn borders around the edges there it looks very messy but that's okay I really love the mix of the hand stitched ones and then the hand drawn ones I love the combination and a little bit of variety there too plus hand stitching can take a ton of time so doing some of the hand drawn borders saves a ton of time as well now I am going to get started decorating these babies I finished hand stitching them off camera because it took me a couple of hours and I really wanted to sit down and watch a TV show while I did it. So that is what I did and now I'm getting started with different embellishments from my stash. I've got these cute puffy stickers from Pink Fresh Studio that came in a past wild hair kit. That Sunny Days cutout came from a past wild hair kit. Lots of things are coming from my stash from past kits that I've had and just using a few things from my petite kit this month to fill in the gaps from what was missing from my stash. And it's really fun to add a couple of new products with the petite kits, the smaller $20 kits, into your stash so you get excited because you have brand new product but it's not so much new product that you're not using up your stash you combine the petite kit with your stash and you get something really well rounded with new product but then also the stuff that's older that you want to use up and i've just found that 
It is a perfect combination for helping use up your stash while also keeping you inspired by new stuff. So you can see I'm pulling out lots of different sticker packs and die cut packs and labels and all kinds of stuff that I want to use up this month. And I'm just seeing what looks good where, kind of messing around, laying stuff down. I might pick it back up or trade it out, but for the most part, it's a pretty easy process. You're just kind of laying stuff down and seeing what you like and where you like it. So I get a few of those made and I'm gonna work on the rest here. I don't end up embellishing all of these. I keep a handful of them plain because depending on what scrapbook layout they go in or how I end up using them, I might want some plain ones to break up all of the embellished ones or I might want some plain ones so that way I can custom decorate it according to the theme of the page that it ends up going on. So I really like that idea, plus it just makes the work a little bit easier to only embellish half of them. That way you don't spend hours and hours making these things and then you have a hard time using them later. Um, the plain ones make it so you can really adapt and use them in any circumstances. And I will have more process videos out for you this month showing how I use some of these circle die cut DIY embellishments and I just love how they turned out. I finished everything off with some cute enamel dots, some more stickers and die cuts, and I don't go too crazy. There aren't very many layers on these circle embellishments. If I do this again in the future, I think I'm gonna do a lot more layers and a lot more texture. These I kept fairly simple because I knew I wanted to do some Bible journaling, so I don't go too crazy doing all the layers and embellishing, but I really do prefer the look of tons of layers, so I will definitely keep that in mind for the future. Here is what the circle die cuts look like. I think they are so cute, especially those hand stitch ones with the white thread around the edges. There's just so much texture. I love the white thread. I'm having a moment with circles right now. Ever since I did that other layout at the beginning of the month, I just love how it turned out. I will link my manual die cutting machine down below. I got it for Christmas last year and I absolutely love it. And I just use cheap die cuts off of Amazon usually. So that's where these were from and it worked out perfectly. I will also link the wild hair kits down below and my crafty e-courses if you wanna get crafty with me and learn how to document your story. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or tips on how to use these embellishments up and I will catch you guys later. Bye.